Here's part two of outfits I would recommend bringing backpacking as someone who's been traveling on and off for about 15 months. You always see people raving about like fanny packs and day packs and yeah they are great but I make the most use out of bags like this. A tote bag, a classic tote bag just so well when you're traveling and it makes you feel less like a tourist, less like a backpacker and more like you live there. I know that's like a really strange thing to say but it makes you feel more like a local. <laughs> roomy enough that you can fit everything in and if you are worried about things getting stolen or things getting nicked then you can always carry a second smaller bag like a fanny pack with all your valuables in it. I bought this one while I was in Sicily but I have so many at home so I'm planning to take a couple with me on my next trip. This is also kind of a tote bag style bag that's just a little bit fancier so if you are planning on going out for nicer meals then you always have a nicer bag that you can take with you. Secondly and this very much depends on which countries you're visiting but in Southeast Asia I went to a lot of countries that were more religious and more conservative so having a scarf like this to wrap over your shoulders or wrap around your knees when visiting temples and other religious sites then it's really good to have handy and just put it in your bag in case you end up visiting some of these places while you're out. Here I wore it over my shoulders because the rest of my body was covered and in this photo I wore it as a skirt because the rest of my body was covered but I was wearing shorts which wasn't appropriate for the temple that I was visiting so I used the skirt to cover my knees and then I was dressed fine. I'm going to clip the mic on to me because this next one I'm going to show you in person. It's so fiddly. The next thing that I'd recommend to take backpacking is... I don't even know what they're called, headbands? I would say that they're better for people with longer hair, like with my hair now I don't like how it looks because it's so short, but when I had longer hair these were a lifesaver to keep it out of my face, especially in hotter countries. I do get a lot of comments asking where I buy mine from and unfortunately all of these were bought in Nepal in a very small shop, but this is basically what they look like. They have like a thicker bit here and an elastic good pick oh, oh. <laughs> an elasticated part at the back and these are great because you can style them to be like thinner or you can like wear them across your like whole head. I did actually struggle to find them while I was in the UK which is why I waited until I was abroad to buy them but if you do really want to get some before your trip then I know Amazon and Etsy do sell them. And lastly this is another footwear recommendation. I treated myself to a pair of Birkenstocks. <laughs> while I was in Italy I had a fake pair that I bought from TK Maxx and I literally wore them to death like they were falling apart. So I thought that I would treat myself to an actual pair of Birkenstocks because I know on my next trip I'll definitely wear them, I'll make good use of them and I, I think you should actually spend a bit more money on footwear because you definitely get more wear out of them so you want a pair that's good quality and good value for money. And as we all know Birkenstock is the super hype brand that everybody loves and who can blame them? They're great shoes and they're super comfortable. I actually have mine on right now and I love this colour, makes my tan pop. So that's all for my recommendations on what you should take backpacking. A lot of these recommendations are for hotter countries, so if you want me to make a part three for colder countries, then let me know and I'd be happy to film that for you guys.